Welcome to another tutorial on Audacity. We've got some fun things we're going to work on today, so go ahead and open up your Audacity program. I've already got an instance of that running. Make sure that you have your microphone and your speakers set to begin with, because sometimes you'll try to record and it won't record at all because you have the wrong microphone input, and you may not hear anything correctly because you have the wrong speaker output. So make sure that you check on these, make sure you're listed, and make sure that the microphone or headphone that you're using is selected. And then we're going to have kind of a spooky voice today. We're going to work on adding some effects that'll make you sound kind of spooky. So. Um, we're actually going to record a track. I've recorded one right here. Uh, when you go ahead and record yours, uh, make sure that you do a little voice acting because you don't want to have something saying, Happy Halloween! because that sounds kind of corny and it's not going to sound very spooky at all. So make a little bit of effort with your voice to kind of make it sound a little more ominous, maybe a little more sinister. We'll listen see what I've got right here. Happy Halloween. So it sounds a little, a little more sinister to begin with. Um, you can say anything you want to say during this time. Make sure it's school appropriate. And you know you can use some quotes off of your favorite video games, movies, whatever. Just make sure that uh, um, you're doing the right things for school. So we've got that started up. The first thing we're going to do with your recording, once you get it recorded, um, we're going to amplify. So we're going to highlight and we're going to go to effect and we're going to amplify. We're going to leave the settings alone and we're going to click on OK. You can see that our waveform is starting to get a little bit larger and you can also see that every now and then there's some little waveforms that are that are being picked up and that's actually called noise. That's some background noise either from our speakers or from inside the computer or something. I'm going to select a section of that and I'm going to reduce that noise to give us a cleaner sounding uh, file when we get to the end of it. We're going to click on effect and we're going to come down here to go to noise reduction. Now this is done in two steps, so I'm clicking noise reduction. I've got my piece highlighted up there and I'm going to get noise profile. Leave the other settings alone, get noise profile. So now it's reading that noise profile and saying, okay, well this is the stuff I need to take out automatically. Now I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to click effect and I'm going to come down to noise reduction and now I'm going to click on OK. If you can see, almost all of those little waveforms disappeared. There's still a little bit left, but it's a whole lot cleaner than it was before. So now that we've got that out of the way, we'll also notice that we have some very blank spots at the beginning and the end. So let's go ahead and get our sound just a little bit closer in there. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the part I want to keep and I'm going to come up over here and I'm going to go to trim audio. It should get rid of the outside excess really quickly for us. Clicking there. Now you notice that it's playing almost over a second into the time. We need to grab another tool, the time shift tool. So I'm going to click on that tool and I'm going to slide my time back up to zero. Now that I've got that set, I'm going back to my selection tool. Let's rewind and make sure what we got so far. Happy Halloween. Okay, we've got a nice sounding waveform. We're going to start messing with this and creating some effects. So we actually want to duplicate this. We want to have two tracks. Uh, we want to preserve the original recording and then we're going to mess around with the second recording. So go ahead and do an edit and then a copy, uh, sorry, I mean duplicate or control D. And now I have two of the exact same. We want that. We're going to mute this bottom one. We don't need that right now. And we're going to focus with the top one. So I'm going to do is highlight the whole thing, select it. I'm going to go to an effect called reverse. So it's going to reverse our sound. So we'll actually listen to the last sound to begin with and it'll go all the way backwards. So now that I've got that, let's hear what it says. 
Okay, yeah, and if we play all this together, it just sound like a mess. But we're going to start here, and we're going to go to another effect right now. We're going to go into Reverb. So we're going to go Effect, and we're going to come down to Reverb. Now here's a whole bunch of settings. I'm going to come down to Manage in the bottom left, and I'm going to click on Manage, Factory Presets, and I'm going to char uh, select Large Room. Let's preview that and see. Let's, let's just hear the difference. So you can hear that it added a bit of an echo, a bit of a reverb in there. I'm going to click on OK and select that. But now everything's still a mess. We've got to reverse this again to match it up with our original, our original track. So I'm going to go back to Effect. I'm going to go to Reverse. Now everything is back normal again. Let's listen to that. Happy Halloween. Okay, you can kind of hear that we've got quite a bit of an effect going on. Happy Halloween. But you can also hear that it's starting to get a little bit um, distorted to where we may not hear the original wording really well. And we're going to keep going in just a minute. But let's go ahead and listen to both tracks put together. Happy Halloween. So now we have this track, which is the original one. It's actually making sure that our words are very clearly spoken, even though we have all of these um, effects put into it. So I'm going to mute the bottom one, and I'm going to come into my top one here that we were putting the effects on. I'm going to add one more effect. I'm going to go Effect, and I'm going to come down to Reverb again. I'm going to go down to Manage, bottom left-hand corner, Factory Presets, and this time I'm going to select Church Hall. Now let's listen to it. Let's preview. Happy Halloween. It just makes it a little bit more echoey. And this would be the time that you could go ahead and change any of these if you wanted to uh, maybe make the room size a little bit less and preview that. Because it kind of sounds kind of uh, interesting. You can go ahead and change some of those if you need to. You can change and, and actually experiment around to see what that is actually going to sound like and, until you get the exact sound you were looking for. So go ahead and uh, play with some of these a little bit. Make sure that you've got it set right. Then you're going to click on OK. And when we see what happened to our original waveform, you can tell that the original voice was kind of, you know, put in with all these other effects, and it kind of loses that, that distinction. So go ahead and rewind and listen to the first one. And let's unmute the bottom one, and let's go ahead and play that. Happy Halloween. Okay, so we actually can uh, turn down the volume on that. I'm going to reduce the volume on the second one a little bit. Rewind that. Happy Halloween. That way it doesn't overpower my other one with the effects. So that's how we can kind of turn your voice into some more spooky effects like you hear on a on whole lot of different um, um, shows, different different things and so right now we're going to export your audio you can save your project if you want to to continue working on this at a later time but also make sure that you export your audio and upload that export to your Schoology account to where you can submit that as part of your assignment so make sure you export your audio good job making a spooky voice this time